Hi, we're Sam and Ella. Hi, we're Sam and Ella. Woo! I'm Sam, this is Ella. <laughs> Hi, I'm Em. I'm Colin. We've been uh, friends for a long time. Um, and we started playing Acoustic Cruise. Um, just some fun facts about Colin. He's a conductor. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not my day job, but I love it. It's okay. fun. You play like, what, 87, 90 different instruments? Uh, 91, 92. If it makes a sound, you like, you figure it out? No, I'm, I'm a clarinetist, a saxophonist. Um, I'm learning the flute badly. Um, but uh, heavy so, into the community theater scene, and that's where I do my conducting. I sing on cruise ships and in my shower and in my car where I get a standing ovation. Woo! Which is super fun. Um, I started singing on the cruise about five years ago. Um, and I just started playing with Colin like two years ago. And we played a fun song that we would like to play for you right now. Um, that one, right? And hold me fast The magic spell you cast This is le vie en rose Ooh. When you kiss me Heaven sighs Though I close my eyes I see le vie en rose Ooh. When you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart that goes into the thingy. That's the technical term. <laughs> it's all very musical. It's awesome. Um, then the, we did a second version of this song as well, uh, two cruises ago, that actually netted the most amazing experience ever. Um, I got to sing it on the big stage in front of a bunch of people. Just by chance, right? You got, oh, you oh it was totally by chance. I did it, we did it at open mic. Mm -hmm. And then I was on the cool deck chatting with someone about, well, we sang it like this. And this wonderful hat turns around, and it turns to be on his knot on the, hog, the noggin of John Hodgman. And he says, I'm sorry, you sang what? And I said, well, I just sang La Vie en Rose this way. And he said, the only thing he said was, in what key? <laughs> well, in the key of G. Well, let's... So we were chatting and noodling in here. So can you sing it in C was his next question. Right. So he said, can you sing it in C? And we're chatting and we're trying it out. And he said, would you like to sing it with Jean Grey and myself on the main stage? And as one does, I said, absolutely I do. And then walked away very like, I'm pretty cool, until I got about two feet away and then ran and knocked on Colin, not knock, beat. <laughs> ah, it's Colin! And then the steward came by, is everything okay? And I said, is Colin home? Um, and then I, Colin opened the door like half asleep. What? Um, Colin, I have to say a lot of words right now. Can I come inside? And so I went inside, explained to him what happened, and he said, oh, yeah, we can do it. And then we went, got food, and sat at the scotch bar for two hours. And then, hey, what are you doing later? Oh, nothing, I'm busy. But inside, I'm like, I'm going to go and do sound check. And it's pretty amazing. And I was super excited, and I'm very pleased that people enjoyed it. And we're going to do it for you right now. Oh, I forgot my keys. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
budno čukso, kastan viško vatme. Rose. Hedge živat, ruso hvića. Kasta ene to, kasta viš njen. Rose. Koga šok e dva, liš e mež go neki. Konuk da kome roze de. Na hukak bavu Užbe la žažđat Tehat bambu Tik ka veša na pi Eš re ka ji Ži je Neh Rozi happened on the way to um, a convention. <laughs> of course this went to sleep. There's a puppy. Look at my face. It sucks. <laughs> so, I don't know if you can see this. So right here is Mark Okrand. He is the creator of the Klingon language. Um, I met him a few weeks ago. And uh, I was sitting there feverishly listening to him while I'm taking notes on my... I just happen to have the music with me. And... Someone had said, oh, you know, some people even sing in this. And my friend goes, and us. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So I was like, what do, you, what do you mean? And I said, I do love Vian Rose and Klingon. And he said, why? And I said, because nobody fucks harder than Klingons. And he said, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then he autographed it, but said he couldn't approve it. Uh, but he did say I could email it to him. And once he approves it, it will become part of Klingon canon. Oh, <laughs> is Mary Chifo. I don't know. Yeah. Do any of you like Sonya Chifo? <laughs> she is on Discovery. She, she plays uh, Laurel, and she's amazing. And she's who I studied to get the pronunciation and stuff right. And I met her and totally like lost my business. Like, oh my god, you're this amazing person. And she just kind of stared at me like, hmm. And then I slowed down and I explained, so I've studied all everything that you do, and I pretty much know all your, all the vocabulary that you use. Because I wanted to understand the whole Klingon thing, so she went from this nice range of like, mm, to, ooh, and aww, which was so nice. And so she signed it as well, and she also signed it that the Empire salutes us. Yay! So official, like, I feel like that's official enough. That's pretty good. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I like your photo. So it was, I, it was a neat thing, and I thank God television kind of feeds a lot of my music, and it's kind of fun. 